Welcome to this demonstration of the iPower alarm system. Alarms obviously form an integral part of scatter operations, and iPower is designed to make the management of alarms easy, intuitive, and effective. Here we are on the Black Forest picture. As we can see, flashing indicates an alarm condition. This demonstration system is artificially generating a large number of alarms that we would not expect to see in a real world. From the menu, we can enable, disable, or silence the alarm horn. Let's go ahead and disable the alarm horn for the purposes of this demonstration. On a picture, we can acknowledge a single alarm. Or, we can acknowledge all of the alarms on a picture from the right-click menu. Looking at the alarms list, Operators can manage alarms through familiar and intuitive functions such as column sorting and filtering by priority or location. Alarm columns can be quickly and easily resorted for easier reference based on the operator's preferences or as the situation dictates. Let's look at another example. Operators can change alarm limits without using configuration tools. This allows operators to seamlessly adjust alarm configuration on the fly. The reason for adjusting an alarm limit is recorded permanently in the events list. This ensures other personnel can follow and understand the rationale for changes. It can be desirable to disable alarm processing altogether, for example when a faulty transducer generates false alarms. We can record why this is being done into the events list. This A symbol shows this device is alarm disabled. Click on the device to see who disabled it, when and why. Here are all the disabled alarms in the system. Like all iPower lists, operators can work from the disabled alarms list. As you would expect, we also have a list of all current alarms. Double click to acknowledge any single alarm. Select and acknowledge multiple alarms at once. Alarms leave the list once acknowledged and no longer in alarm state. We can acknowledge a page of alarms or all alarms. Lastly, the off normals list. The off normals list is subtly different to the alarms list. It shows every point that is not in a normal state, regardless of whether this generates an alarm or not. Off normals is the place to find anything that is not as we might expect. 